SES Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana, tamu sana. The true Harun Ayadin has finally been unmasked. You can see there, he has been given a placard. And from the placard, you can see some of his details. DCI Anti-Terror Police Unit, Nairobi Detachment. Name, Harun Ayadin. ID number, date of birth, mobile number. And then residence, you can see Turkey. Nationality, Turkey. Home district, Senkaya. Offense, the most important thing here. Suspect of terrorism, financial. And then OB number, you can see 478 2021, which means this thing was booked yesterday. And then position PUI. So from that placard that this man has been given, I think we can now take this as the government official position on this matter. The government suspect that this man is a financier of terrorism activities. That now comes out as maybe the position of the government as far as Harun Ayadin is concerned. So what are Tanga Tanga saying about all these things, ladies and gentlemen? Because yesterday it was widely rumored and believed that the government wanted to deport this man yesterday night. But nonetheless, from other reliable sources again, it seems to appear even from this placard that the government might now arrange this man in court over suspect of terrorism financial, or rather supporting terrorism or aiding terrorism activities. It's most likely the government might present this man in court and maybe deport him maybe sometimes. So what's the Tanga Tanga perception or what are Tanga Tanga saying about all this, ladies and gentlemen? Today, Dennis Itumbi, through his Facebook account, posted a very long post. You can see the post there. But what caught my attention, ladies and gentlemen, was the, the fourth point in Dennis Itumbi's post. The fourth point says this. They, they then will link the arms hubris with the alleged arms scandal by former C.S. Echesa in a disparate efforts to bring in the DP's office in the story. That's what Tanga Tanga is saying about the whole drama. Because when Dennis Itumi talks, Dennis Itumi is the perceived Tanga Tanga spokesman. So when Dennis Itumi talks, he's likely talking on behalf of Tanga Tanga. So Tanga Tanga, as of today, they strongly believe that the government wants to link this man to Rashid Echesa's 39 billion Kenya shillings arms scandal that occurred last year, just to bring in the deputy's office into the whole story. That what Tanga Tanga believe as of now. But from that admission by Tanga Tanga, we can assume that maybe Tanga Tanga in this case are playing smart. They are doing what we call reverse psychology. Maybe they have some intelligence as Tanga Tanga that this man, Harun Ayadin, maybe is linked in one way or the other to the arms scandal that faced Rashid Echesa and William Ruto's office sometimes last year. Maybe Tanga Tanga have that information. So they just want to preempt, or rather they just want, or rather they know that the government will definitely link this man to that scandal. So they just want maybe to preempt what is going to happen so that when government now comes out clearly or rather in public about that, then Tanga Tanga can now say that this man, has, this thing is trumped up charges, that these charges are cooked and now never. That can be one way or rather a strategy 
Tanga Tanga might be using so that when the, the government now officially links this man to the arms cannon, then they can just say that this man and our new one. So ladies and gentlemen, I want us now to look at a very interesting link between Rashid Echesa or rather the 39 billion arms scandal to this man Harun Ayadin. I've done some research ladies and gentlemen and I've gotten a, a publication by the Star Magazine the Star publication on 19th February 2020. That was last year. This is what the Star Magazine newspaper said about HSS um, um, scandal. This is what the Star Magazine said. Stanley Ko Kozlowski, the principal figure in the alleged Rashid HSS security scam, claims to have worked on agriculture projects with Nyeri County before 2017. That Star publication on February 19th, 2020, last year. And then the publication goes on to say, Stanley Koloski of Lake Zurich, Illinois, is the manager and vice president of Echo Advanced Technologies, EAT, which allegedly paid a, a shilling 11.5 million bribe to former sports minister, a chaser to secure shillings 39.5 billion, 39 billion to secure communications contract with the Department of Defense. That star publication, newspaper last year, February 19th. From that publication or from that story, you can see there is a link between that story and what Tanga Tanga have been telling us about this man Harun Eadi. Tanga Tanga through Oscar Sudi. Oscar Sudi is the person who traveled with this man to Uganda. Oscar Sudi told us that this man is a modern fruit farmer. A modern fruit farmer, that's somebody who is involved in some kind of agricultural activities. And then through this publication again, the man who was in the center figure, or rather the principal figure in Rashid Echesa's arms scandal drama, also claimed to be involved in some agricultural activities or other projects. So the link in this case is that Harun Ayadin and the person, the principal figure, who was also involved in Arun, in Rashid Echesa's arms scandal, they all claim to be involved in agricultural activities. That's the one link between Echesa's case and Harun Ayadin's case. And then the second link, ladies and gentlemen, all these two incidences, they are all both tied to the office of the deputy president, William Ruto. In Rashid Echesa's case, ladies and gentlemen, it was widely believed that Rashid Echesa used William Ruto's office to convince some two Poland businessmen that he could help them procure a, about 40 billion tender contract with the Ministry of Defense. It's widely believed that he used the, his closeness to William Ruto to convince the two Poland businessmen, arm dealers. And those, these two arm dealers, ladies and gentlemen, just gave him about 11 million Kenya shillings bribe. And also this Harun Ayadin is also linked to William Ruto. So in one way or the other, folks, this, this Rashid Echesa arms scandal deal and this Arun Ayadin now drama or rather this thing, they are both linked to William Ruto's office. That's the com commonality in these two cases or rather in these two incidents. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I want William Ruto supporters who are fans of this forum with all this corruption or rather with all this kind of allegations, is William Ruto still fit to hold the office of the deputy president? Whether these charges are being cooked or not, with all these allegations, is he still fit 
to hold the office of the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya? That's the question I want Kenyans to, to answer me today, and specifically those supporting William Ruto. Please, I want you to engage me on that. With all this allegation, is this man William Ruto still fit to hold the office of the deputy president? Because again, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Musyoka, Mudavadi, these are all opposition leaders who for over 10 years, they have been in the opposition. And we have never seen such kind of allegation being leveled against any of these Raila, Kalonzo, Mudavadi. And there is no opposition leader who can match Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila was the fiercest critic of this Uhuru government. But we never saw such kind of allegations being leveled against him. So what does this show about William Ruto? Is he fit to hold the office of the deputy president? That's a challenge and a question. I want Tanga Tanga fans, all those supporting William Ruto, to answer me today. Let them engage me today on that. Because again, Tanga Tanga have also not come out to deny that this same same Harun Ayadin is not the person who was arrested in Germany over on allegation of also terror activity. They have not come out to deny that. So we assume and we take it that this is the same same person who was arrested in Germany on charges of being linked to terrorism. The same same charges that now the Kenyan government have also charged, charged them all. Let Tanga Tanga supporters today challenge me on that and not on theatrics. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave it there. But if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.